Hey beautiful people, Crystal here from Private Label Hair Care Company, also Elite Hair Care USA and Elite Total Body Care. So this video is going to talk a little bit about the difference between private labeling, contract manufacturing, and formulary or formulation or working with a chemist. A lot of times when you guys start lines or have the idea to start a line, the first thing you tell yourself is, okay, I have to find me a chemist. I have to do all these different things. Not knowing that a lot of times when you walk down those aisles in those large retailers like Walmart, Target, CVS, all these different companies, some of the largest companies actually started out private label. Some of the largest companies actually started out with no chemists. Some of the largest companies don't even own their own formulas. So that is another reason why I wanted to breed life to private label hair care company, because I knew that there were so many of us out there who want to be able to create your own brand, start your own product line, but you have no clue how to do it and where to go, nor do you have thousands of dollars to invest. So what is the difference between private labeling, contract manufacturing, and formulary or chemist workers? Um, I want to say this now. You guys need to really get used to the terms because one thing that I know when I walked into this industry, I did not know a lot of the terminology and still to this day, I'm still learning a lot of the terms. But at the same time, as my days go by and as I start working with different vendors, different contractors, different companies, I'm learning the different terminology because a lot of these companies will talk so much gibberish and it will go right over your head and you have no clue what you just got yourself into. So with that being said, private labeling is exactly what private label hair care company does. It's basically where you take a product that is already formulated, a product that is already ready, it is already bottled, or it is already in... Um, bulk size and you are basically putting it in your own bottle or you're just labeling that bottle that's already ready with your brand your name your information your idea your concept in regards to how the product is going to look now does that mean that that makes you any lower or less of a company absolutely not a lot of times the most of the companies that you're dealing with you don't even know that these companies are private label. Why? Because private labeling is actually not something that you tell someone. You don't actually go to someone and say, hey, yep, I have a private label brand. It's by the name of Apple Macintosh Computer 240, um, but it's private label, so I don't really own the formula, but I want you to buy it. You've never actually heard this conversation. So this is actually not something you tell people, okay? Private labeling is basically the best way to start yourself right at the ground and go running. It allows you to invest small amounts of money, building your brand, getting larger so that you can get into the realm of contract manufacturing or even formulation. Some people never leave the realm of private labeling because they're comfortable, they know the product works, and all they have to focus on is the branding and the sales. The formulation and the product and actually getting the product ready is not really work for you because it's already done from the beginning stages. So private labeling is basically where you are allowed to take a product that is already ready to go, ready made, already bottled. Sometimes it's in a bulk size and now you are able to bottle that product or just go ahead and label that product and move forward. Contract manufacturing is exactly the same thing because most contract manufacturers do not allow you to own the formula that you're using. You don't actually know the formula that you are using. Same thing with private labeling. But with contract manufacturing, they don't do small runs. Most contract manufacturers start out where you have to have at least a thousand or more pieces of the same product. So let's take example, um, our hair repair and growth shampoo. If I was to go to a contract manufacturer and I did not own this formula and I just wanted a formula that had certain properties in it, that manufacturer would be able to say, okay, they had this library of all of these different products. Um, you want this product that does this. Okay, no problem. We will charge you a small fee to formulate for you, but you will never know the actual formula. Then from there, they will say, okay, we need you to purchase at least this quantity of this particular product and it will be at this cost and while contract manufacturing does give you lower pricing you still have to buy in lot, like much higher quantities than you would if you were to deal with a private labeling company such as private label hair care co 
Contract manufacturers, like I said, typically have stipulations that say you have to get a thousand pieces, two thousand pieces, five thousand pieces, ten thousand pieces minimum before they will even work with you. With contract manufacturing, the product is not ready right then and there. You are in a process for a number of weeks, if not months, before your order is ready to go, okay? And you are putting out a good chunk of your money at the beginning, which is your deposit. And then once, the, once that, that product is ready, you're now paying the rest of that big chunk before they will ship you your product. Private labeling is a little bit different because you can purchase as much, as little, as little, uh, typically with private label is no less than eight. And then you can go as high as you want from there. Whereas with contract manufacturing, you're starting in thousands, sometimes in the hundreds, depending on who you're working with and the relationship you have with them. And you are going from that amount up. You do not own the formula on either private labeling or contract manufacturing. So the last part of this is formulary or working with a chemist. If you go and say the route where you want to work with an actual chemist and you want that chemist to design a product for you, you're going to basically go to the chemist and say, I want a product that does X, Y, Z, and Z. I want it to smell like Z and I want it to be, I want to be able to make certain claims on that product. The job of that chemist or that formulary is to now deliver a formula to you. They do not bottle. They do not get the raw materials. They do not source the raw materials. Their job is literally to use their brain, develop a formula, give you um, samples of the different formulas that they come up with, the different revisions, whatever. And then at that point, once you get to the finished product, you now take the finished product to a contract manufacturer or you can in-house manufacture it yourself. This is also another reason why I launched Private Label Hair Care Company, because I knew that people did not have that kind of money to invest. I will give you an idea of when I say an investment. A contract manufacturer, when we before we got our own bottling equipment, because now we have the ability to now contract manufacture and also offer private labeling and also bottle our own in-house products for Elite Hair Care USA and Elite Total Body Care. But before I had this equipment, I was dealing with a contract manufacturer. When I was dealing with the contract manufacturer, my first purchase was literally in the five figure numbers. Okay. So that was my first purchase. That was only three products and I was already in a five figure number and my deposit was still a five figure number. Okay. So I want you guys to keep that in mind when you're starting out. It is okay to start out private labeling. It is okay to continue private labeling. It is okay to build a relationship with your private labeling company so that you can work out your pricing, so that you can work out different deals. That is the nature of this game. No matter who you deal with, everything has negotiation. Negotiation cannot happen on small amounts, okay? But once you build a relationship with that company and you have a solid relationship, you now can take that relationship and build an even bigger business. So I always say if you are a smaller brand or you are just starting out, start out private labeling, guys. Don't rush into contract manufacturing. Don't feel like you have to be like the masses and be purchasing 50,000 bottles of a product. That is not a good investment. Unless you have 50,000 people ready to purchase within the next um, 12 to 24 months, I would never go and invest in that amount of product. I'll start out small and work my way up. Build your catalog, build your brand. Private labeling is probably one of the easiest ways to go. It is the fastest because the product is ready now. And then you can build on that and grow into contract manufacturing and grow into now wanting to own your own formulas. So I hope this video kind of broke down the difference between the three. For those of you that have not already visited Private Label Hair Care Co., please do so. The website, like I said, is privatelabelhaircareco.com, okay? And that is where we house all of our private label products. Those products are actual products that have been proven to work. We are using them on the elite hair care side, but we want to breed life to businesses and small businesses just like yourself who are looking to now create an entrepreneurship for yourself and have financial freedom for yourself.
So you guys, like I said, thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to visit privatelabelhaircareco.com. Peace.